In considering effective strategies in campaigns, presidential campaigns, uh, campaigns for political office of any kind, is it really necessary to engage in insults or negative statements? Is that really a winning strategy? The, you know, the one determining who can be the better insulter or the better a person that can find more things to throw, more mud to throw, more deprecatory statements to say or expose the other candidate in negative ways. Is that really a winning strategy? Or is that not the indication of a, a rather weak-minded person that would tend to think that that would be the way that they could win a good leadership position? Is that true leadership? I guess what I'm trying to say. Is that real vision? Or is there a not enough to talk about, enough issues to bring forward, enough vision to uh, engage people in, enough things to project uh, and consider and talk about and have conversation about that would mean that we would actually be going backwards by wasting the time that it takes to indulge in insults and deprecatory statements about the opposing candidate. When I'm teaching about leadership and talking about leadership and about historical, the historical ways of leadership in our country, it comes out very clearly that the true leader is a, has plenty of issues to discuss. And especially in today's world, where we have so many problems and so many things to address. And, it, and when we know, as I've said before, that it's going to take a person of vision and people of vision to run for Congress and for Senate and for President and all the important offices for governors of the state. It's going to take people of great vision, of great leadership ability, of great wisdom. And is that really a part of true wisdom to spend a lot of time running the other candidate down, talking about their bad points, talking about the terrible things they've done? Or would not the time better be spent telling about the good things that you're going to put forth? And the good uh, good visions that you have, and shouldn't you tr attempt to be heading shoulders above discussing things that would tend to waste people's time uh, mulling over all of the insults and the different negative things which are are being brought out? Is negativity a way? A valid way to win an election. And really is, you know, is it a valid way to even for even for the press that sometimes likes to engage in gotcha questions? Is that not a waste of the people's time? Engaging in either insults, gotcha questions or deprecatory statements would tend to take away from the time that needs to be spent in painting a vision. I mean, is that really educating the public? Do we not need to have not only leaders, but a press in this country, a news media in this country that seeks to educate the public and really paint a vision for the public of a better world, of a better country? So then when we look at that, how can we then say that we are educating the public when we're merely engaging in gotcha questions as members of the press or engaging in insulting deprecatory statements as candidates running for office or as leaders already in office? This is something which you really need to consider because 
is you know the uh, vision that a real leader should have should go beyond those type of things. They should have they should have plenty on their mind and plenty available to talk about that would raise the awareness and the consciousness of people and put them on a higher level and raise the educational level. Produce better visions in the minds of people. Just generally lifting people higher in the things that they say. The time should be spent lifting people higher, not running other people down. And if you spend the, the time that you really need to spend in lifting people higher and in educating people the way they should be educated, you're not going to have time left to do all these insults and these deprecatory statements. And there's just simply no need of it. You know, and if you don't have the conversation ability or the vocabulary to do any better than that, then perhaps you should find another area to another career opportunity or another area to work in you know, or at least a lower level position rather than trying to run for uh, the leader of the free world or running for a senator or congressman or governor of a state or something like that. The conversation needs to always be lifted to a higher level. Every time a president gets up to speak or a senator or a congressman or someone running for public office gets up to speak, the conversation should be lifted each time to a higher level. A better vision. The better angels of our nature could come out, as Reagan said. The better vision should be what we're concentrating on. Doing a great job of inspiring people, of motivating people to their best interests, of motivating people to their best capabilities, motivating people to their best potentials. Inspiring people to educate themselves as how to be better people, have better character, more integrity, more leadership ability, more love for the country. You know, just general, more general integrity, character, honesty, and forthrightness and upstandingness as, as they live their lives. It's a matter of leaven, too, you know. A little leaven, leaven at the whole up. You start putting that leaven into society as a leader, especially if you're in a high-level position like the leader of the free world or a governor of a state or, or a senator or a congressman or something like that. And you start putting that leaven into society of all these insults and deprecatory statements and uh, running other people down that don't agree with you politically, then that leaven begins to rise in the whole society and the whole society becomes a more negative thinking society a more insulting society a more argumentative society a more visionless society running around in a maze like a rat in a, in a box not seeing the real vision not being able to know how to think outside the box got to hold the box and get out there with a the large cheese in uh Begin, just keeping society running around in low circles, not looking up to a greater vision. It's just, it, it causes the entire society to go off in a direction of a type of an argumentative, fighting, uh, uh, it disagreeable, unable to get along type of consciousness, which we do not need. We need to begin to form leaders in this country who can always be rising upward and onward into better ways of thinking, better visions, better and more, uh, and more cultivating and more constructive trains of thought and constructive ways of expressing themselves. Express yourself the way you want other people to express themselves. Express yourself in a way which would you would like for the people who you're attempting to lead to express themselves. If you want the general awareness of how to speak the English language better, of how to communicate better, 
how to deal with each other better, then provide that example in the way you speak and the way you conduct yourself and in your manner. Don't use these helper words and don't use just down into either colloquialisms or the type of things which are not understood by all people. Utilize a language that is uplifting, a language that causes people to begin thinking, you know, not just entertainment necessarily, it, it can be entertaining, but not just something that is entertaining only, not just something that is a deprecatory comedy or something like that, but a language that is uplifting and inspiring and causes other people to begin to learn how to be uplifting and inspiring in the way they speak. And we can do that. See, this is what I started out to explain, is that we can actually run for public office and win by speaking in uplifting conversation, inspiring conversation. If we're real leaders in the first place, we will be able to speak in a way which will cause people to uh, all of a sudden get a vision on their mind of a better country, better ways of dealing things, more constructive ways of dealing things, you know, less need for insults, less need for criticism of, of uh, the opponent or criticism of the part of people on the other side of the aisle. Less need of that. There's le there will be less need of that. And, and because you have, let's face it, you, you should have enough to say and enough to deal with, and enough new visions that need to be painted, because we are a visionless society right now, and, you know, you could spend your entire time in your debates, and in your uh, campaigns, and everything else, painting a, gooder, a better vision, and leading people upward and onward, without ever having to get into running down someone else. Are speaking, uh, you know, because people are going to see that if they see you doing the right thing, then they're going, to, they're going to be able to compare that in their own mind, compare your leadership to the leadership of other people that are down in the dirt and, uh, and uh, you know, indulging in these things. They will be able to compare that in their own mind. You don't have to get up there and say, oh, this sorry individual over here that is running against me, he is such and such and such and such, and they've engaged in such and such trash, and they're just this and this and this. You don't have to really go into that. People will see that for themselves, but they should not see that in you if you are saying, okay, I'm running because I feel like I'm a leader. I feel like I've got vision. I feel like I've got a superior understanding. I feel like I'm a wise person. But then you get up there and you use four-letter words and run people down and spend all your time in deprecatory statements. Then how are we going to look at that and say, this is a wise individual. This is a real leader. This is a person that we need as the leader of the free world. After all, I mean, look at the example. That he could pay. Look what he could do to make our country look better. Look what kind of image we would be able to put forth in the world by having a leader like that. Look at his conversation. Look at his communication. Look at his way of expressing himself. Uh, you know, the command that he has upon the English language, the command that he has upon a conver good conversational skill, good uh, communication skills. Think about, we need to think about that and prepare students in this area to be leaders in Correct communication in intelligent communication in intelligent conversation and intelligent ways of expressing themselves and enlightening ways of expressing themselves. They will educate the public. So I'm going to pray right now. Father, in the name of thy Holy Son, Jesus, give us a higher vision, a higher hope, a higher joy, a better uh, happiness and more uh, dreams about a greater future. And Father, now if there be anybody ill, I pray that you would raise them up now. You would give them healing because we are healers and we know that healing uh, works. And we, dear God, just heal people. Raise them up and deliver them of all obsession, depression, uh, uh, oppression, depression, or concession of any kind. We pray in the name of our Holy Son, Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. And we will 
pray that way from now on. 